Some folks in Kentucky are grabbing their waders. Doug Higgins, meteorologist, is in with more on some severe flooding down south. Morning, Doug. Good morning, Pete. Yeah, I just wanted to show you a look at uh, our radar and what went on yesterday. We took Storm Tracker X and focused it right here on Louisville, where they had some major flooding. Now, here's this gauge for what the radar says light rains and light green, absolutely intense in the purples. And you had this purple start over Louisville and hang over there for over two and a half hours. The result was extreme flooding. Usually, when we see thunderstorms in Green Bay that are severe, you see that purple color. For maybe five minutes, maybe ten, not for hours on end. That's what caused the huge amount of flooding that they saw. As a matter of fact, it left thousands without power and flood waters shut down some major roadways, taking its toll on the city's public library system. One official says three and a half feet of water flooded the main library's lower level, ruining tens of thousands of books. Rising waters also led to the evacuations of about 35 horses at the famous Churchill Downs horse track. It hit like a monsoon. Well, uh, one of the girls on the backside hollered. I thought somebody was injured from a horse, and uh, so I run around the backside, and, and the rain just come. I mean, we never had a chance. Just flowed in like a Atlantic Ocean. Officials say no horses were hurt. They were moved to a nearby facility. A spokesperson says a big chunk of the track is underwater. That is the case all across the city. You can see lots of cars are being damaged, and the mayor is feeling a little overwhelmed. Fire's running out, EMS is running out. We're doing everything we can to respond. The floods have also shut down the University of Louisville campus. Now, a spokesperson there says water is 18 feet deep in some areas. The school's not in session, but there are about 6,000 students there for summer classes. All of them are said to be okay.